hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to map the cors policy and i think in my last video i have explained about the cross origin resource sharing concept but actually i forgot to add a one point someone has requested someone has requested how to do this so in this video i am going to show you now in this video how to map that cors policy to your services because last week that's what we discussed right the cors policy will be used to restrict the only few domains allow only few domains and will restrict the other domains okay so but uh, anyhow we have successfully created the we have successfully created the cors policy but after that you must have map that cors policy to some specific uh, urls are some specific services how to do this okay so i am just repeating once again in my previous video regarding the cors policy which is used to enable only limited number of domains or only few set of domains or only some specific domains which you which you configured in that cors policy but okay that part is done but you how to map that you how to apply this cors policy to some specific services right so in this video i am going to show you that okay, very simple okay go to configure anyhow i have a cors policy last video i have created some cors policies uh, go to security uh this is cross origin resource sharing policy okay that's fine but uh, how to use this cors policy where do you apply this where do you map this cors policy so go to your configure integration services see this one endpoint cors policy mapping see we have a lot of lot of options in the pega prpc we have to explore we have to explore usually we will uh, miss these what is okay always every time integration connectors create soap and rest etc but so today we have learned a new option right endpoint cors policy mapping so endpoint is nothing but your exposed service endpoint your exposed service endpoint see this one already for this endpoint mapping for this url mapping for this your restful service endpoint url mapping this cors policy was mapped and you just click on this settings for this url path this cors policies are mapped okay that means these policy settings are applicable to this endpoint url okay so similarly if you want you can add your you can add your you can create your own add endpoint for example add endpoint i have a one url for example my url name is um, something pr rest service slash pr uh, something like hello etc assuming this is your endpoint so to this endpoint to this endpoint if you want to apply that cors policy you just add cors policy here whatever the policy if you want you can create n number of policies and you can add n number of policies the sequentially it will apply the settings sequentially it will apply the settings okay for example in this you added some domains in another policy you added some methods like that you can add n number of policies so all these policies will be applicable or will apply to this endpoint sequentially so here we can map the cors policy to your restful service endpoint okay so if you want just a down arrow okay for example this is my endpoint this is my endpoint my restful service endpoint to this url i want to apply this urs policy you just simply add the cors policy very simple actually i forgot to um, mention this in my previous urs policy so that uh, then it will be a complete uh, end to end topic but i forgot it actually someone has requested this someone has mentioned how to 
how can we apply this CORS policy? How can we map this CORS policy to, or where can we map this CORS policy? Okay, now that's why for that purpose I have uh, created this video. Okay, thank you.